by little things that I'm not concerned. I'll get their forts, and that'll be the end of them. Get yourself down to Capital of Rock as well. Chain Duel Fall, and that will be the end of Shu as a competitive force. You're going to Markham. Funny. Funny that. I also thought I'd go there. I think we've saved UA from annexation anyway, if, if that was even ever a possibility. Catch these guys as well. War, yep. Excellent. Excellent news. Actually... Yeah, we will see you or occupy you, I should say. Ugh. Don't break my constant fool. Ah, but you're fine now. Good. This is all going swimmingly. Actually, what I could be doing while I'm waiting for Perm to well, they're done. Fabricate claims. Because uh yeah. Oh well. And you're still less than 100%, right? Ooh, just about. I love it when a plan comes together. Of course, now I'm going to be focused on two different fronts, and that always ends well. By always, I mean never. to fall and then you two are done and I can focus on Dali and Perm Sabir. Right, Kazan, make yourself useful. Or Kazak, sorry. Should insult you by calling you Kazan. They crumbled like uh, a shoddily built house. You're locked into me. Have fun fighting me in the whatever the heck this is. Mountains? Oh gee. Yeah, I lost 600, they lost a lot. You're done. I just need that fort to fall, and we're good. Drop off a Merc. Get moving. Zach are actually doing something, which is nice for a change. Uh, yeah, you just go here, please. So, as a wee reminder, the uh, achievements I'm going for, I may get others along the way, as uh, I have already, is... What am I looking for? Back in control, that's the one. Form Yuan and be the only nation holding land in China. We're well on our way there. Well, nearly halfway there. And we also want the Great Khan. As Mongolia are a great horde, owner have a subject to own the Chinese, Russian, and Persian regions. Not quite as close to doing that, but uh, we're getting there as well. Excellent. That frees up everyone here. Which is great. Well, I don't even need to get you out of there because you're going the same way. It doesn't matter if you get exiled. Shoo. Please give me money. And war reparations and trade. Thank you. Not sure what way they'll steer trade here. Probably this way. Then get thrown up. Ah, that's, that's, uh, that's quite helpful. I do need to fight you properly at some point, though, Shoo. Take the land I've claimed. Good. And you're not even exiled. Lovely. I can then peace out to Ning. 
you're going to give me land, Ning. You're going to give me a lot of land. Do I want it all? Does that piss off anyone that's not already terribly pissed off? And again, Kazan, but they'll drop out at the end of the year. Everyone else is already... No, Min is not as pissed. But Min, what are they going to do? They're one province minor. So we'll just take Ning, I think. 57 over extension. We've got a bit of admin saved up. Sad that we can't take all their money. Sad that we can't take very much of their money. But that's what we've got uh, these guys for. <sighs> Why not? Goodbye, Ning. It gives us tribal conquest on Woo. So it gives us the ability to raise stuff, which I feel like I've not done in a while. Baby. Lovely. Never gets old. Let's core this using this interface because we've got so many territorial cores to core that uh, doing it any other way would be... Ah, well, let's have a look at the territorial cores we have. Let's uh, go with you. Now, that frees you guys up, which is excellent news. In fact, change of plan. Go that way. You go that way. Okay. Let's keep our eyes on the prize up here. Ah, didn't actually move my army after that, so well. You're already under siege by Animus Zealot, of all things. Get you out of the war as well. Good. Oh, that made you Ning Separatist. Of course it did. Where's your army, buddy? Oh, there it is. Exiled, of course. In which case, we can just say, don't want you. Back this way. Nice one, Kazak. I haven't yet decided if I'm going to give this land to Kazak as well. End up never annexing them. Oh, nice. You go that way. You can go this way instead. Eh? Oh, Muscovy. Huh. Colors looked, uh, looked similar there. Oh well, go and siege. They'll be killed, though. Sieges are progressing. Diviat Separatists are helping out as well. It's all looking good. Merrick's can do their job here. wait for the um, Permians to come back. And our horse is one, of course. So even though this is a full... No, it's not, actually. Well, it's... Even though this gets the horrendous combined arms malice, um, or lack of combined arms malice, the raw damage of... The, wow. 
heading out into Siberia, as they should, I suppose, being Siberians. Um, they still just murderized the Ning separatists because they flanked them, they outdamaged them, they did a bunch of stuff. Beijing wants to rise up. That's a shame. I attempt to let it. It's not really a problem. Quite as well I'm tempted to let you rise and just kill you the autonomy coming down that's what I'll do smart guy I'm going to be wanting everything here, buddy boy. Not in the guy I would mind, but nobody cares about Sabir, which is kind of a shame, but oh well. you guys are doing separatists really don't not separatists Permian Permian army that's what I'm looking for ah excellent 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 So our truce with Ming is up. I need to de decide whether I'm going to jump on them. They won't have the malice from the low man date anymore. So they'll put up a slightly better fight. They'll got a fair chunk of land as well. Fair chunk of land that I want. I think Ming is next on the chopping block. Gotta keep the war train rolling. Excellent work. And the capital fall as well. A donkin. In town. Uh, you can actually go for that then. You don't need to. You can just kill these guys. The question you got to ask yourself, Muan Fuang, is how good a friend are you to Dili? How good a friend are you? Now, if you were to steer trade, Anton up to Hanzhou, ah, nothing goes, oh, stuff does go from Hanzhou in a good direction. Should push for the uh, steering of trade as well. Mind you, the trade power you'll have here is fairly minimal. Anton, UA has most of it, I have a fair chunk of it, Pasai. Probably not worth it on the balance of abilities. In which case, just get out of there. It's gonna blow. Should be. So oh no, it's you done. Interesting. 
the beer falling first. Hey ho. Right, Muan Fuang, you ready to give up all your money? I don't know if this has been a net positive or negative these wars, but they've been a net something. A net banning? Gets you out my face. Now it's just Delhi and Tonggu. Tonggu, again, I want. It's not even worth taking money from you. I'd be paying more to reinforce these guys. Yeah, let's just abandon ship there. Right, you. Yes, you. Uh, you've got a fort here. I take that, people will be annoyed. Yourself. If I take that fort, you've got no other forts, really. Come back for you another time. When I have a bit of, um, some claims on you? Ah. Pretty dirt poor. Oh. We'll do that. They war reps as well. Fine. Uh, I don't want you to have Mong Mao as a subject either. Oh, it's just a tributary state. Oh, you can keep them then. Makes no odds to me. You'd return stuff to Ming. Point in doing that, though. Good. That's an acceptable outcome. That does leave you at war with UA. You are kind of winning that war. War with you, eh? They really are not going to be able to defend themselves too well. Well, if you were unable to core, nothing you could take, is there? Do that. If you can't core any of this land, you shouldn't take any of it, unless you were really funny and gave it to Muan Fuang, but uh, I'm not worried about that. Nope. Burn it to the ground, burn it to the ground, burn it to the ground. Core. 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 Now hopefully that doesn't take us. Yeah, we're good. Canton's just about cored anyway. Which is a good point. We should wait for these cores to finish before fighting Ming, because I always forget to do that. Primarchs. Let's get everyone else back and figure out what our armies are even doing. Everyone on to this one. You can go back here as well. In fact, we should probably go and deal with those Ming Separatists. Fine. And we've also got Sabir down, which is nice. Here's... It's all mine. That does make their units separatists, but we'll figure that out. At some point. And Perm, you too. You gotta go, buddy. a statesman, level 2 statesman, which would be quite nice for the whole annexing um, fame strength of air. Oof. But all provinces of Shandong culture will get minus 3 unrest for 10 years. Eh. Meh. We have humanism. What is unrest? So we lose missionary strength. Is Elbeg Silgal? Okay. Let's have a look at this. During our his education, our Kan Kanadzet Buyan has come very close to 
our royal advisor Chun Shao, forming a special bond to him and the Shao Shandong people of his homeland. Buyan's travels in our Shandong lands have done wonders for the popularity of our dynasty, but has also raised more than a few eyebrows in our capital. Our nobles, led by the demanding Elbeg Zilingol, are starting to worry that Buyan will favour Shandong subjects when he become when he when he becomes ascends to the throne. And have begun to plot against him and Shun Shao at court. Demand we chastise the Kanze and guarantee the rights of the nobility. Okay. Fine. Live with that. Tax modifier. Don't make him a lot from tax, but hey ho. And we will we'll get a dip rep guy. Who is cheaper to hire? Ooh, morale of Navy. No. Alright, I'll beg. Excellent. And perm. Perm, perm, perm. When I get a diplomat back, oh boy. Where are you going? Are you going to Ugan? You're not. Darn. Oh well. Everybody hates us, but that's to be expected. And that caps us in mill, so that being the case. 100 military power. 900 military power. I've seen better. We're going to have to do that again because we're just going to cap ourselves. Uh, hmm. Where is this nearly done? burning as I thought there was going to be. Oh well, that does that does the trick for me. Now, to core or not to core? Hmm. Did I not take this province? Oh, huh. okay. Don't know how I missed that. Take it and return it? Nope, just completely missed it, it would seem. Oh well. Param, you live for another day. And I cannot core this because... Bashkur does not quite core it yet. Okay. That will take us <laughs> over the overextension limit. Oh boy. Bye. <laughs> ah, it doesn't get any easier. Hey, Kazakh. I can probably hold on to Perm. I can just grant them the rest, though. All right, Kazakh. I can't even do that. I would need to grant them Perm. Give him a root. Oh well. Zach saying, what even is liberty desire?
And a couple more for you as well. At least I burned them. At least I got to burn them. Oh, yes, they weren't causing us any overextension. It's these guys that are causing us overextension. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. It'll be fine. Can the uh, Canton's gonna drop in a sec anyway. Lost the effects of training in China wire, huh? And we're starting to lose our claims on Shu as well. Ashgird is done. Things is down. Just as I planned. So even though state just yet, you've been occupied by Ming Scepter, so you're going to defect to Ming. What is that war you declared? Jin Septus. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of expecting some Ming Septus. Yan Septus? Hold the phone. Hold the phone here. Yan? Septus? Siberian Separatist <laughs> sieging down Shenyang. Uh, you're a long way from home, buddy. Alright, I don't care. I don't care at all. Uh, hmm. I care about Baoding. That's quite good from memory. Do care about that. Are you all Yan separatists. Is the autonomy either? Then separatists, huh? Thirty-five thousand. Alright, get up here. Then we start fighting some of these rebels rather than just going, yeah, autonomy. You're fit enough to fight these guys. Now, by standing on some of these provinces, I can probably get them to not look so revolting. 